multiple checkpoints, so it's amazing that that even happened. All right, uh, moving on now. Today marks the 63rd anniversary of the first ever shopping mall opening up in the United States. It's the Southdale Center just outside of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Malls were once a big part of our culture, but times, they have a change. So let's go beyond the headline and take a look at the rise, fall, and rebirth of the American shopping mall. Well, you can call him the father of the American shopping mall. Victor Gurin came up with the idea back in the mid-1950s. Although his concept looked a lot different from the malls that we're used to today, Gurin imagined a climate-controlled main street with shops, supermarkets, cafes, even post offices. A setup that would keep people from having to use their cars. But the mall we know today is almost exclusively a destination that people have to drive to. Malls held a special place in American society from the 60s right up through the 1980s. But in the 90s and into the mid-2000s, we saw the rise of the Mega Mall, leading to an excess of retail space, right as the internet was beginning to come online. We all know the story from there. The prices and ease of shopping online has led to not only malls, but the stores that anchored them going out of business. Now we're seeing a transformation of the American Mall into more of the main street that Gurren originally envisioned. Many are outdoors, with restaurants, gyms, cafes, museums, and of course, a whole lot of shopping. Sadly for some, that traditional mall from the 1980s made famous in so many movies are becoming a thing of the past. I used to spend a lot of time at the old oh, shopping yeah. mall. Just seeing the video, I feel like you can uh, smell you get the nostalgic, and the you know, you start thinking Cinnabon. Stranger Things spends a lot of time in the mall. Oh, if you yeah. Watch that series on Netflix. <laughs> All right, if you are wondering about our local mall history here in the Bay Area, the oldest indoor mall in Tampa is West Shore Plaza, which opened up in 1967, and Britain Plaza on Dale Mabry, which opened in 1956. It's the oldest strip mall still up and running.